All right, so we're back with the questions. And today I got... Mexi Cuban. And I got some questions for her. But okay. first, can we have a 360 for the camera? Of course. Yeah. Bless you. Thank you, thank you, baby. All right, my first question for you, Mexi. Okay. What's the craziest thing you've done on camera? Ooh. I got to think about this one because there's a few. One time, I threw up on a dick. <laughs> and I swallowed it back up. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know if I'm disgusted or turned on. <laughs> Who are you kidding? I don't know. You want to find out? Yeah, show me the video. Okay. Baby. Let me see. Yeah, boy. Let me see the video real quick. I'm gonna give you. A, I'm gonna judge this video for you guys, man. She says she threw up on her dick and ate it back up. I don't know if I'm disgusted or turned on. I would have nutted right there. Mm -mm -mm. I had dinner twice. Y'all go hit that link in that bio. What's the most toxic thing you've done to a partner? I was like 18 at this time. I really wanted a PlayStation. And I was dating this guy. And I had this other guy in my crib. And he caught me giving head. And he still gave me the PlayStation. And he still was with me. That was very toxic. That was very bad. I would have to give more details for you to understand. He caught you giving head? Yeah, I was giving that man the clock. What, what was your reaction? Oh my god, baby, I'm so sorry. Is that, Is that what, what you, you look think? like? Yeah, that's exactly how I sounded. What did he say? How could you do this to us? It was so bad. I'm what not. Did, what did I'm the ashamed. next guy say? He just put his pants up and he left. Dang. Did you finish though? Did you actually finish? No, nah, he, 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 he didn't. He didn't. Damn. I still got the PlayStation though. <laughs> that's yo. I'm sorry, by the way. That's probably the. That's traumatizing. I'm admitting my wrongs, and I'm doing better now. Do you believe in zodiacs? I do, cause do? like I look up the definition of me, cause I'm a Gemini, and it literally just des like describes me. Okay. What do you think is the most toxic zodiac? Mm -hmm. Capricorns. Capricorns. My ex was a Capricorn, and he was crazy. Describe crazy. Controlling, didn't want to see me win, upset all the time, nagging all the time. His was not even that good. Head game, A1, I will say that. All that nagging must have taught him how to use that tongue or something. I don't know. <laughs> you missed that head game, huh? Definitely so. <laughs> don't miss him though, just the tongue. How much money does a guy have to have in his bank account to have a chance with you? How much money he has to have in a bank account? Yeah. Oh. To have a chance with Mexican Cuban. He gotta at least make like over seven figures. Over seven? Or at least seven figures. Or six figures. I'm not going to be too mean. I mean, if I'm making over that, then yeah, I'm going to need a man that's going to be making over that. So you're making over that seven figures. She banking. So, Mexi, what's your ideal first date? Honestly, if it's something like just small and romantic, like even just a picnic on the beach would be nice. I like that. So you really don't care about the money, really? No, but he got to have it, though. I feel you. He don't got to show it, but he got to have it. Exactly. Because, right. like, I'm spoiled. I'm an only child. So it's like you're not going to take me out of something that I'm already accustomed to and try to show me something different or less. Does size matter? Yes. It does? Not going to lie, though, before it didn't. But Why? now it do. Why? Because once you experience something luscious and big and juicy like that, you can't go back. What do you mean? Like, size? It has to be juicy and luscious and long. What do you mean? You have to divulge more into it. I'm not understanding. Can I say pe dick? You say whatever. Wait, what? Oh, I meant like short guys or tall guys. Bro. You a freak, bro. You talking about guys? <laughs> hey, yo. What about the actual D size? Though? What's the ideal size for you? I would inch say wise. Uh, or, inch wise. Or you can show us with your hand. Because what, what, six inches like this? No, nah, that's, that's like... Four, three or four. Oh, okay. So I would say like seven or eight is ideal. Seven or eight? I like that. Bro, the average guy is like four. Well, then I don't like that. I've had it though. How long should a guy last? At least 15 minutes. Over that, I feel like you're doing too much and my, my is gonna hurt. You feel me? That's what I'm talking about. Like, some girls be like 30 minutes to an hour. Like, right now, I'm tapping out. It's like if you're holding your. And then it's like, it's not even, I got to make sure that my feel good too. Like, it's kind of like a compliment. So what if he nuts in like five minutes? That's a compliment to me. But if it's like repetitive and it's happening all the time, then yeah, 
You got to go. Because you're not satisfying me now. But, and that's just selfish. But if it's that one time, you're like, okay, I did that. Yeah. I got it. I'd be like, damn, it was Gucci. All right, so how many rounds should a guy be able to go? Or do you care about rounds? Well, rounds, doesn't yeah. that mean it's going to take longer for him to No, no, no. Like, he'll nut, and then you start again. Okay, I like it. I love morning sex. Okay. Then, like, if we hanging out all day, then, yeah, let's do it afternoon. And then at night. Or before, like, we could do, like, late afternoon. And then when we come back from the club, we can do it again. Ooh, you sound like a nympho, Loki. I'm like psychotic when it comes to s I love that s Okay, speaking of s what's your favorite position? Well, there's a few. I like back shots. Back shots? Yeah, because like, I got this tattoo on my back and my waist be looking so mm, And then I got this ass that just be jiggling. Can you demonstrate for us? I can show you a video. Or you want me to demonstrate it? I wanted you to demonstrate, like... I was saying you could demonstrate on me type shit, like you showed me how you hit the back shots like. You're too tall, you gotta bend down. <laughs> yes ma'am, yes ma'am. <laughs> What's one thing that you have to do before you leave the house? Um, shower. Okay. What's another thing? Eat. You gotta eat before you leave the house? Hell yeah, cause then I get cranky. But sometimes I don't eat and then it's like, oh that's all I can think about is food. Okay. Would you allow your man to have a female best friend? I mean, if she was there before me, then it's like nothing I could do. But until I see something like suspicious, then I'll cut that hoe off. So it's cool as long as there's nothing weird going on. Well, yeah, because I have a male best friend. You do? Yeah. You know he tried to hit, right? Yeah. <laughs> the, the fact that you admitted it. <laughs> hey, you are, you are real <laughs> for just being real about it. Because some girls would be like, oh, no, he doesn't want to hit. <laughs> no, flat out, straight up. He probably d did too. I mean, she. <laughs> but we best friends though. We best friends. <laughs> Your boyfriend breaks your arm and he's like, "Don't worry, Maxi. I got you, baby." <laughs> <laughs> What's your biggest turn on? So like before we do anything. Yeah, it doesn't have to be. It could be anything. I like lips. Lips. Yeah. You like a guy with juicy lips or? Yeah, like, like you. Oh. Do I stand a chance? Well, we're friends. Here. Oh. <laughs> mm. Damn, Solid. Nick, I didn't know you was coming like that. Oh, that's I'm coming, baby. Them shit's juicy, Let dog. You know what you want to do after the video? All right, for real. We're going to have to go over there. <laughs> Matt, Matt, let's go right now. Let's go. What's your biggest turn off? Teeth. Teeth? Because that's the first thing you see on a person. Like, if your teeth is, like, crook, crooked and, like, or, like, like scattered. Bad, bad, yeah. I don't like that shit. Scattered. Yeah. There was this man, his teeth, he didn't have horrible teeth, he just had this one gap and his head, bro, because they could fit the clit in that gap. That boy was <laughs> whistling, he was whistling in that <laughs> That boy said, <laughs> <laughs> He was doing something, he was making music for sure. Cheat on your boyfriend or snitch on your homegirl? Cheat on my boyfriend. Where the loyalty at? I mean, my home, well, if it's my best friend, then yeah, obviously cheat on my boyfriend. But if it's just a girl, Huh? Then I'll snitch on her. Where's the loyalty? The loyalty starts with my friendships. I think your man's supposed to go first and then your friends come after. I mean, if it was my husband, but if it's just a boyfriend, then I don't really. I respect that. Okay. Would you rather have a thought daughter or a gay son? A gay son, because I love him regardless. A thought daughter is like, damn, you just on our, our name now. I can't talk! <laughs> Contradicting myself, y'all. Why? Are you a thought daughter? <laughs> <laughs> I look like one, but like I really am a pretty good person. Spit or swallow? If I don't know you, I'm spitting it. Okay. Are you a creamer or squirter? Both of them. Both. Whoa. What's the craziest thing you've thrown at a partner during an argument? A glass cup. Oh no. It was a um, a portrait. But it, the the frame was made out of glass, Whew. right at his head. It missed. Did it connect? No. Thank God it missed. <laughs> but it left like a really deep hole in the wall. Just imagine if it actually hit him. I probably would have been in jail. You're a savage. What, when's your birthday again? June 6th. Wow, that's literally. But I'm such a lover girl. I'm so nice and affectionate. Have you ever done it with more than one guy in 24 hours? Yes. You have? I did. Have you ever done it with more than two guys in 24 hours? No. 
my coochie can't handle that. So how did you pull off two guys in one day? Well, there's a lot of hours in the day. <laughs> you know, one in the morning, like midday, and then at night. Were you dating any of them, or was it just, you were single just doing your thing? I'm not going to snitch on myself. But yes, I was single. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. <laughs>